Is it time to ditch my FTTC and go all in with Starlink? Before that, here's an intro that took me three minutes to make and it's terrible. Yeah, some weird music, blah, blah. Don't know. I need to do something to try and make this channel look a tiny bit more professional. I make it look like I know what I'm doing. Today is going to be about the firmware update, and I have that on the screen now. It starts 68F and an EF282, and this was rolled out to me this morning. But before we jump on to the serious stuff, as always, here are some lambs being bottle fed. And then this one just stares because it's terrified of something. Normally I don't do speed tests as soon as we get a firmware update because they do tend to be a bit inconsistent for the first 24 hours. Now this firmware has been dropped over the last few days. Some people get it before others and yeah, for some reason I'm getting them last. And yeah, Martin did get his before me again. I'm okay with that. As I said before, we're friends and yeah, fully support his getting stuff before I do. That's okay. It's not envy. So here are the speed tests from today's firmware update. And as you can see, they're all right. I, I jump around a bit with these tests and I also watch jitter, ping, uploads, see what's improved and it's hard to tell. Again, when I refer to the release notes that Starlink sent out with this, oh well, there isn't any. Then it's a guessing game, but it looks like this is purely about upload speeds improving. Now, in terms of the question, am I ready to ditch my FTTC? It's 30 megabits per second down, five megabits per second up. It pings around six to 10, it's with Zen. I love Zen, they've been great. Uh, I'm not there yet. I know people have pulled the plug and they've left their previous supplier, but I can't, I can't leave them. And the reason being, I still get enough outages to interrupt my service and also to give me earache whenever my wife's conference calls do go down. So I will be keeping my FTTC for another while yet. So one of the other questions I had recently was about 5G. Can I not get 5G or 4G here? I can't, I'm in the countryside and it's very difficult to get any sort of phone signal here. And it's not, it's not wilderness. Don't get me wrong, this is in the edge of a small village, uh, but it sucks quite simply. But I was in Bedford a couple of days ago and I decided to test the 5G there. So here's the speed test from that. And it's still not as quick as my Starlink. Yeah, granted it's O2 and I know there's faster ones and everything, but I'm happy with my Starlink speeds right now and they're only gonna get better. So I'm gonna leave you with these speed tests to see for yourself how it's performing on this new firmware. And yes, server does matter. You'll notice towards the end of the video, I do swap server a couple of times. I quite like the Maidenhead one. On a few occasions I did set, uh, opt for the uh, app speed, whatever it's called, to choose the location for me. And it chose Braintree, it chose, chose some in London and various other places. So it's interesting to see how that finds the best server based on your location. And again, it depends where the Starlink signal is coming to and how it's pinged to me, blah, blah, blah. I don't really understand all that stuff. But the speed does vary depending on the server that you're on. So I'll leave these with you and whatever you're doing for the rest of the day, have a good one. And I will catch you later.
Thank you.